after all, those people are not paying your bills, you know. When they chose their own partner, they ask you, you know. Uh -huh. African hmm. women, are we African women? Yes, check. Yeah. Are we living in Europe? Yes, check. Do we date Europeans? I don't respect. I don't have respect. Just have sense. My goodness. Hi guys, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. As you can see, we're outside. We're still outside. <laughs> and I have your favorite guest. Yes, your favorite guest. I don't know. Are you Team Mummy or Team Grace? Let me know. Let me push this thing up. Better say the rude answer. So you know, we've had two guests. No, actually, a few other guests. So we had, we've had Reggie. We've had Reggie and Kim. No, we've had Reggie and Kim. We've had Kim. And we've had Gracie, and then we've had my mom. So let me know. And also we've had Queen Sandra. So let me know who is your favorite guest. But a lot of people have been commenting on this lady. They've been missing her. So I brought her back. Ta-da! <laughs> Miss Extra, the queen. <laughs> Miss <Hi>. Sophisticated. That's <laughs> why so she's acting shy. Today I'm we got a old. question. Don't believe me, I'm trying. <laughs> the same thing happened to me at I work. I'm trying. Let me tell you the story. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, guys, listen. I got my one of my birthday presents as well today. So. My birthday is every day, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> yes, I actually celebrate my birthday quarterly. So my original birthday is the 23rd of May, but 23rd of August I, I celebrate. No, 23rd. You always <laughs> talk about my car, like my car registration number 2305. So 23rd of May is my birthday and yes. I, I celebrate it quarterly because God is too big. God is too big. I can't do all of it on 23rd May next year. So 23rd of um, August, I celebrate it. I'll celebrate again on November, 23rd of November. And I'll do it again 23rd of February. So yes, I'm, I'm big on the Thanksgiving thing like that. But guys, I am so excited because I've not seen Grace since, since we were in Ludwig's book, okay? Yes. Was that in June? I think it was in June because that's... Yes, that was, that was before I went, I went away. So yes, okay, so let me, here, here, let me leave the, so you can see what you're doing. Anyways, this is the, the fake one she got me, she was like, happy birthday to you. I said and happy birthday, <laughs> I said happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, mm -hmm. happy birthday, like the, um, the German style, mm -hmm. happy birthday. So this is birthday. Like birthday. Mm -hmm. so Not bur, birthday. No, you have to always be accurate. Uh -huh. wow. So this present, eh? Open it from here. You have to. Um, I saw. Uh, yeah. This present we was supposed to meet on Wednesday because the present delayed. We are waiting today, mm. but it's good because Friday has been tough. Like the week has been tough. Mm. <gasps> no, you didn't. I, I did. If though. you know, you know. I if love you see how the devil was. Ralph Lauren. Oh my! If you see how I the devil was the today. If you know how the devil was oh fighting me when God, I was ordering so this, this is a bauchtasche and also a clutch. Uh, you know I love bauchtasche. Ever since my waist became snatched, mm. you know. Yeah, I saw one picture with your bauchtasche. Said it will fit her so good. Oh, Let me get man. it. I'll put a picture. Oh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Yes. And it's really one of my favorite brands because it's it's like casual and still sophisticated. You can wear it crossbody. You can wear it like this. I wear it. Oh, oh God. Oh my god! See, this is even I was like, looking for the for the shop boy. This to is look. my my work one. Mm -hmm. This is my work bag. Yes. And it's tattered, like it's been through a lot. <laughs> no, but it still looks fresh. Though. Yeah, the color. I love. I took it because of the color. And now I have. <laughs> you people, oh, you people. Oh my goodness! And we have to still it. So guys. We asked you guys to send us questions and say so we are going to do one of them. One of you sent us a question and let me just send it, like show it to you. Mm. Hi. I'm <laughs> greeting <laughs> the, the people. Oh, yes, yeah, so the please. Tribe. Yes, greet the tribe, the CPW tribe, the Phoebe Wade tribe. Mm -hmm. Um, what is. Uh -huh. Why is it showing all the um, so Kent 2004 sent us this email. He says, Hi, I wonder, do African women living in Europe date Europeans? 
Do you think some fine Germans and Scandinavian guys like Swedish, Danish guys attractive? Wish you all well, Kent. We wish you well too, Kent. We wish you well. <laughs> Let me put this Hi, Kent. <laughs> Hi, Kent. We wish you well, okay? So, hmm, the question is, do African women living in Europe date Europeans? That's, I think it's like three questions in one. Yeah, let's break it down. Let's start with the first part. Okay, so do African women living in Europe date Europeans? Yes, they do. Oh, we do. <laughs> I, mean, I have not. I have not done that, but um, yeah, I've seen many. I do. And uh, many of them are happy. We are happy. Yeah. Very happy. <laughs> so um, yes, it does happen. The thing is that you know, um, <clears throat> um. At the end of the day, re um, relationship is not about the race. Of course, everybody has the right to have a preference, yep. you know. But if there's no sensible person around your preference, you move, you move to Plan B. Nah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. Too. You still go mm. to heaven. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, um, <laughs> you still go to heaven. <laughs> yes, because people are afraid that they will not go to heaven. For dating somebody outside their cultural circle, uh, why well, should you go? Uh, uh, but go crazy at all of us. This is what you call backward mentality. Yes. Now, have you forgotten? Mm, no, I have not. So what I'm saying is, you know, if you if you meet somebody and he, ha he has everything or he or she has everything that you want in a man or a woman, or he happens to be white or green or blue, why would you say, eh, no, because he's, like, is his color going to do anything for you? Like, I don't, I don't get it. It's not going to do anything for you. If, as long as the person accepts you, accepts your culture, and is willing and ready to learn, why should you, you know, um, push that person away, yeah. you know? Because uh, um, at the end of the day, everyone um, has to be happy. Yes. You know, and if um, you get criticized because you date outside of your race, then so be it. After all, those people are not paying your bills. No. When they chose their own partner, they ask you. No. Uh -huh, so you, oh. you um, as long as you're the one, you know, in that relationship, it, the only thing that matters is how your you own happiness. Yes. Yes. You know, because you are the one living with that person. You are yes. the one being in that relationship with that person. Those other people are criticizing you. They're just there. They see you once in a blue moon and that's it. The thing is that you can't please everybody. And everybody's also not pleasing you. So just ignore no. them. And if you find a white person, a white girl, or a white man, or a black girl, a black, it does not matter. You know, it doesn't matter. As long as you're happy and as long as you can see a long-term future with that person. That's what I personally think. Yeah. And as you said, do African women living in Europe, I'm going to do like um, Gaffex Girls, so Tarkish Tans Met Male. African women, are we African women? Yes, check. Yeah. Are we living in Europe? Yes, check. Do we date Europeans? Yes, in my case, yes, check. And I'm not going back on that decision. Yes, check. <laughs> because, as she already said, I'm the one wearing the shoe and I know where the shoe pinches me. Wow. And it's not pitching me. By God's grace, it's not, it won't even preach me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but, um, do we, I think, I, I was even asking, why would you even ask this? I don't know who Kent is. Is Kent European or not? Are you interested in African women and you are not sure whether you should approach? Approach. Approach because in our culture, or the way we are brought up, or some of us were brought up, we don't approach men. African women don't approach men. It's the man who pursues the woman. Yeah, Grace wouldn't do it. Hey, but me, if you, you approach me and I like... I will not approach you. If you want to talk to me, come and talk to me. But me, to approach you... Okay. I'm not a feminist. That question, and this feminist issue, hmm, we have to do a different video where she's eating her favorite food so we can discuss that because that yes. thing is a very high class tema. It's a very touchy, touchy topic. Hmm. Tell, touchy. tell them. Mm, tell them, yeah. So, Tell them. because when it comes to feminism, Grace and I are on the same page, but mm -hmm. I am on the in the middle and she's on the top page. Like you know how it, the different parts of the page. By the end of the day, we are on the we're on the same page because the um, the forgiveness is the slice. Like the what is the result is the, the same. The result is the same. Yes, because at the end of the day, she wants the same thing, but she doesn't go want to go that feminist feminist route. So, yes, it's, she would. She's, it hurts she, women. It doesn't help women. 
that's just the truth of the matter. It doesn't help women in any way, shape, or form. Because the thing is that men and women are not wired the same way. The, the, <clears throat> the human anatomy for women is different than for men. The way a woman thinks is different from the way a man thinks. The, the thing that makes a woman fall in love is different from what makes a man fall in love. Uh -huh. What a woman perceives as love is different from what a man perceives as love. Give what a man love wants is different from what a woman wants. So if you do what men are supposed to do or what men usually do, the result is not going to be the same. The result is going to be disastrous. It's like, like for instance, now it's going to be disastrous. It's it's more. I'm your linguist, so when the queen speaks, I'm, I give power. Yes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. you know the thing is, you know, for instance, now you have house for people have less problem with house for, but once houseman will come in. Yeah. <laughs> and men Just like ask. respect. If yes. the men want to be respected, but once they are houseman, forget respect. Go and walk, and then the respect will fly on your head. But now, no, <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounds harsh, but I like to tell the truth. Yeah. If you are offended, go and repent. Uh uh. <laughs> You know, <laughs> no, sorry, I'm, I'm not. I'm not quarrelling with your people, but I'm just telling them. I want them to be well. I want them to, to behave be well. For me. I want okay. you people to behave well. Uh -huh. So, as I was telling Kent, Kent, Kent approached um, the African lady you fancy because yes, please do that. Um, it could be that she also fancies you right back, mm -hmm. and um. I've had friends who have told me outrightly no, they are not going to date Europeans, they're not going to date Caucasians because simply the um, thing is different. Mm -hmm. Our culture is different, what they like is different, what we mm -hmm. like is different. When I say we, I mean Africans and what Europeans like is different, everything. But I think that once you've set your foot out of your home country and you've come to a place like Germany, you have to ac accept that even your pounded jam unless you get the pounded yam flour you have to use kartoffel puree to do it so unless you open your mind to kartoffel puree powder you're not going to eat a goosey soup <laughs> you get what i'm saying uh, no, that's for me africans as well that's one <laughs> yeah but what i'm trying to say is you have to open your mind to try new things yes true. and do not um always think that because once you think your culture is superior to another person's culture you're not going to get anywhere in this journey like the, there's no guarantee because i've seen a lot of people from the same culture divorce and the one we are seeing here is fire. In fact, uh, see bomba to bomba or fire by fire. Tornado to tornado. That's what it is. It's, it's not a small thing. They no. fight physically, spiritually, and mentally. They fight. They use the children to fight. It's like it's it's crazy. The thing is, you can even date a, that. The other time I was saying, you can even date somebody from your country, and you're still going to experience culture shock. So it's better you do it. You you know that I'm going for culture shock. Let me mm -hmm. just go and be shocked. Let me mm -hmm. go with the mind to be electrocuted, not to be thinking I'm going for my countryman. And then when it comes to certain topics, I realize that oh, we're on two different, totally two mm -hmm. different pages. But because I'm a woman, I can't talk because I have to be a woman and keep quiet. It doesn't yeah. happen that. <laughs> <to come. laughs> so we had this place to eat. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm minor, Sean. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, the feelings one. Then need a mini green roller. Yeah. 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 Um, what's the name? Um, give me the mini for two Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to eat anything else. I'm gonna start with this. Well. It's my just as population comes in. Mm -hmm. But you can have breakfast now. You want to start first. I want to see and you know I don't want to start with big food and after I'm not eating. You know? That's true. But me, I'll eat it because that food was so good. I had it for lunch with shrimps and I want to try it with chicken. I should have told her I wanted shells. It's okay. <laughs> so, what were we even saying? Like, cult, you, you coming shock. from the same culture doesn't mean that everything is going to be smooth because you're coming from no. the same culture. Because you have to understand that your culture. Um, mixes with your circumstances, with where you're growing up, where you're living, also. yes, exactly. And also, the um, just because uh, someone is from your culture, that doesn't mean that you are raised the same, y you know. Like, for instance, now, matters. like, for instance, now in my, my culture, women don't inherit anything, but my father never said that I'm, I'm the only daughter of my parents, but my father never said, Oh, because you're a girl, you're not going to inherit anything. 
he did he shared his poverty equally between me and my brothers you know but there are some people you know from our own culture who disagree and say no a woman she'll go to her husband's house what else is she going to inherit in her father's house that's what you know the thing is that it's not everybody that is like that not everybody um understands some yeah so imagine you coming from that background where your father sees equal um equality between you and your your, your brothers and then you go into a family where they, they don't they see that because you're a woman you are close to nothing mm -hmm. how, how do you survive that uh, yeah. you well, always be fighting every every day yes. every day you'll be every fighting day. Mm -hmm. the, the, then some people will come now a, a man who wants to tell you will say that can a boat go with two captains <laughs> when do you both think if there's two captains uh -huh. this is what somebody told me before i was like uh, then the person asked me do you want Igbo marriage or german marriage or nigerian but, marriage and then i said what is that i don't i have never heard of such thing before i never knew there's Igbo marriage and german marriage he wants to know whether he can oppress you or not and i told him that oh god i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> it's uh, i don't know the one the meaning of Igbo marriage or german marriage the only thing i know that there's marriage but um you know it's only somebody who has brain that will enter it but one hmm. Hmm. Uh -huh. that was question number one question number two or the second part of the question is do you think some fine um germans and scandinavian guys like swedish danish guys attract you mean nordic nordic guys hmm. just in the lane i'm hungry <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so as we were saying, this um, it, um, Nordic guys, I'm just saying like um, Norwegian. We like them because you guys are calm. I think um, no, Scandinavian you know, guys are Whenever I think of calm. Scandinavia, Norway, I always think of them with the little dude on their head. Ah, okay, these are the Norwegians. That they yeah, have, I right? think so. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm up there, where it's cold. But I mean, I, know, I will not date one because I always have to go to a country that is colder than Germany. I'm not for that life. I'm not about that yeah, life. Yeah, we are in August. Look at the kind of jacket I'm already wearing. It's See, I've August. covered my leg. And you want me to go to Norway? I want to go to Norway. Norway break your bones to there. Norway. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'll say no to the but it's cold. It's yeah. cold. Like, the weather is... The only reason why we are actually sitting outside is because the sun is out a bit now. And yeah. it's, it's about 20, 21, 22. No, uh -uh. it feels like minus fifty. It, it's five, five degrees. Ah, and the, the kind of cold that I'm feeling, I'm just managing here with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh ha! It's actually sixteen degrees. No, it's dog sixteen degrees. No, it's a lie. Dog. Now it's eighteen. By eighteen, it'll be sixteen. Thank you, Shane. It'll be sixteen. So yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's fine, my thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. I just can't see off camera gleich. No, no, no. How can I? 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 No <laughs> more. As long as you are doing. You know when the food is so hot, you feel the liquid running in your ears. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't feel anything. Mm -hmm. I should even put six instead of five. She likes us now. You haven't seen this one. We really haven't finished. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. So yeah, I always think of them like with the dot, like with this little funny thing on their head. Mm -hmm. And then what else? And then they are tall too. I think they are tall. They and, are calm. They are quiet. And people. schlank and slender. Mm -hmm. Tall and slender. I think, yeah, for me that's my spec. Mm -hmm. If you see my partner, you know that that's my spec. So yeah, yeah. My own specs. I don't have a spec. Just have sense. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have a spec. <laughs> I want to offend them. <laughs> <laughs> offend them. They'll be fine. Okay. So you'll be fine. Yeah. See, I mean, like I put a man's character before his physical appearance, right? But don't do that. Your children will not appreciate it. No, wait now. I'm coming. That doesn't mean that I I will just you know I will not consider. You can take one of my own boy. His forehead is like my own. 
Okay, but your fo forehead is even shrinking. Forehead was bigger. So. <laughs> she just trusted me. <laughs> and you know, and the thing is this: if a guy has good character, mm -hmm. you know, the thing is that of course, um, when you get approached by a guy, maybe you might not like him physically, you know, but you look at the permanent features that you can't change. If you can deal with that, then let's say if he he does not have a good fashion sense, and if you're a woman. The man that loves a woman, he will allow her to influence his style. And then you, you can change that one, True. you know. But what's the what's the point having somebody that looks like Brad Pitt, but somebody who beats you up every day? Like what I um you know, of course I have like respect when it comes to looks, you know. But what I would say, like a permanent feature that I really love in men is tall. It's a prerequisite. Yes, like a tall, you know, whether you... And she's not even asking for much, just be taller than her. <laughs> she's not asking for much. Be taller than me, and also be taller when I wear heels, that you're still taller. Inna, you're still not asking for much. You if see? I stand up now and you stand, even as you're sitting, I still look taller than you. So she's really not asking for much, she's telling yeah. me to be taller than her. She's really not asking just be for tall. too much. And also what I, am, I like is somebody who is intelligent, who is educated, um, uh, someone who um, is open-minded and who... Um, Know, who who is always trying to understand something and who's always trying to learn open something. minded yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just somebody who generally who has sense you know i don't want to go too deep into what i mean by that because i've said it before i'm not a feminist so um you can kind of try and speculate what i mean by that mm -hmm. you know if you ask i shouldn't tell you so and also <laughs> You know, <clears throat> if people can bribe me, I'll tell you. But there's one other thing, oh. uh, please, oh, um, men. I'm speaking to the men now. Okay. If you're not Going serious, your, come on, yeah. if you're not serious or you're not ready for a relationship or you're not ready to get married, leave the woman alone. If you think you cannot live without a woman, when you meet her, tell her up from please, oh, I'm not ready for commitment. I'm not ready for relationship. I'm not ready for marriage. Jo let's just. Um, do one or two things and call it quits. And this is what if you I do that, the woman will respect you. At least you are honest to her, even if it doesn't sound pleasant. Somebody has told me something like that before. You know, the thing is that you know, and he I doesn't want to waste your time. Yeah, I didn't like what he said, but I respected him for the fact that he told me the truth, and he he just he told me upfront that he does not want to waste my time. In case I don't want it, I have the right to go. But if I plunge into it and then cry after I'm on my own because he told me the truth, you know. And that is one thing that a lot of German guys would let you know upfront. Like it's really mm -hmm. expensive. I'm not looking mm -hmm. for something serious. Some mm -hmm. some people will tell you I'm looking for something serious. People are serious. People are longer I want something for the long term. And that is why, when I realized, I was like, okay, not bad. Because if somebody is already looking for something um, um, stable or solid for a longer period of time, and he wants to know if you guys are compatible, it's different for somebody who tells you in the beginning that, hey, he's not interested. And so you also, like, align yourself. Mm -hmm. You get it. But if you don't tell me anything, I'll also assume that, okay, we are doing the same thing. And yeah. remember, we assume a lot. But, you know, that's our African people. They will never tell you that from up from that they are not in for something serious they'll never tell you instead they'll be pretending you know one thing i one thing that i realize is ah they'll see you wow beautiful girl i love you you don't love me you are maybe how can you love somebody and he how love is so big it can't happen overnight and that's what that's one thing i realized about some of our west Afri african guys i love you i'm like bro you just saw me five five seconds ago what, what if you open the Bible, it's the first thing that God said, I love you. <laughs> yes, yeah, even it's not in the Old Testament, God did it not tell everything was chaotic. <laughs> in, in the, the beginning, first, in the Old Testament, God was um, did not tell anybody that he loves them all. The only thing he said that Abraham is his friend, that was it. It was uh -uh. in the New Testament for God to love the world. Uh -uh. But no, God also talked about loving the Israelites now. And David said he loved God loves him and he loves God. So mm. that before that, somebody well, said time. a true shot. <laughs> If you open the first, the first Pray verse, don't kill somebody. <laughs> the first verse and the first chapter in the Bible, it doesn't say. Mm. If you open the Bible, it says, God never said I love you. The Bible always talks about how God loves. Like it's always passive, it's not active sentence. You like, understand? Loved by God is that like, what you mean? Like there's no sentence in the Bible where God says I love you. That sentence itself does not exist in the Bible. The Bible talks about love constantly, but there's no. Even Jesus never told his disciples I love you. Mm -hmm. He showed it. Jesus mm -hmm. explained that there is no greater love 
when, then, what? then when somebody sacrifices his life for his friend and the thing is that um we don't need to sacrifice our life because jesus has done it already but what it simply means is that when you love somebody you make sacrifices for that person even if it's your time you know, even if it's your money even if it's you know um that you inconvenience yourself temporarily for that person that's what love is love is not i is are not words just because you tell somebody that you love them does not mean it's true you ha it has to be followed by words otherwise yeah. whatever you, um, by action sorry not mm -hmm. by words by otherwise action. whatever you said will not make any sense and will be completely valueless no value no nothing you know yeah. so so that's please that's, so if you don't love somebody don't, don't tell them because women the women are emotional beings once and you we tell love, them that we love by hearing we, 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 yes yes we 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 base our emotions mm -hmm. and actions by what we, mm -hmm. we hear Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that's another thing. Yeah, another my food thing. is here, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you. Guns <laughs> shelf. Thank you. It's not my It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not my Oh, guys. So, oh, it smells so good. You can smell the coriander. I can smell it. It smells really good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, Grace is now looking for her main dish. We're about to sign out because we're about to enjoy our food and so hot. But yeah, we'll see ya guys. We'll see ya when we see ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye.